I just want to say something very positive. I have a business that's been around 25 years, and the Daily Oklahoman has been extremely responsible for the success. Um, Clyde, I met you back in 96. You did a story. Uh, could not have been more beautiful. It technically wasn't on my business, but it was on my home. But she did tie in the business to it. Don, I met you at a Bank of Oklahoma luncheon, and you did a beautiful story. Um, you know, I have all those in my office framed. But, and Paula Burks is a great person in that we get probably weekly emails saying, there's a story going to be written about something, and do you know anything or what have you? Well, it's been great for me because I work with all kinds of different companies across the city, and I'll think, oh, that's a great story that Tyler Media's got something on, or that's a great story that this person has. So I contact my customer and say, hey, you might want to contribute to this. But I look like I'm really, you know, I mean, I don't look like I really care about them getting publicity. But we can all help each other if we just stay in that network. And I can't be more thankful. Now, on newspaper, I am what I am today because I'm an avid reader of the paper. And I can converse with just about anybody that I run into because I've read something in the paper that's given me knowledge. And I have a 10-year-old grandson since he's six. He knows that Nana reads the paper. And on Sunday when he spends it with me, he goes, Nana, what was the big story? Now, if we're out at a kid's ball game or someplace or he sees his parents, he tells Nana, he tells his mama about whatever was that big story. I'm raising a reader for the future. But Thank I'm you thankful. for that. Well, I'm passionate. I am what I am today because of the libraries and because of the newspaper. And that's, I mean, I can converse with anyone in this room about whatever you do. Not real smart, but I can get by because I read the newspaper. And if you're a small business, I was talking to this young lady right here who's trying to get her bookkeeping service built up, brand new but she's got to meet people. She can read the paper and start finding people that she can connect with. And you pick up the phone or send them an email and say, hey, I read this story, I'm interested, and you connect that way. So that's Mother Teresa speaking. Paula sent one out a couple of years ago before the Notre Dame game, and it was an article about uh, Notre Dame coming to the OU thing, and she says, anybody got a story on this? And I quickly send her back just a note. I used to be a cheerleader at Mount St. Mary's High School. They came back in, I'm not going to tell you what year, and the nuns had us go out to welcome the Notre Dame team. And my mom was madder than you know what because I, by God, I was a Sooner before I was a Catholic. And she, <laughs> she wrote that story, and I probably got, and still I'll be down at OU football game, and somebody, that's been, what, three, four years ago, somebody will say, oh, that story on you, that story on you. But that, I am my business, so it definitely helps to build the business there. So I'm thankful.